Many years ago, I journeyed with the Maharajas of India to the island of time, intending to claim its secrets. But I discovered it was a barren <laughs> deserted, its guardians gone to sand. Strange tales upon its walls, which spoke of an empress, an empress of time. But of this enigmatic creature, there was no trace. We returned to India with treasure nonetheless. A staff, a dagger, an empty hourglass covered in jewels, and books. Such secrets they contained. For even then, I was an older man, and knew that my time would soon be at an end. The books showed me that life eternal was not beyond my reach. Empress herself. Power is sad. But you were wrong. There you are. I turned my attention towards other pursuits and left that dream behind. Then, four weeks ago, the dagger stirred and showed me things. Whispered to me in my sleep. It drew me here, towards Babylon. Alas, the Maharaja did not share my vision, would not grant me leave. So I slew him and claimed his king, his army for my own. Nothing would stand between me and my desire. <laughs> Recklessly, the prince drew his weapon and charged forward, intending to rescue me. It was as if he had learned nothing from his past adventures. Or perhaps he had simply forgotten, made blind and deaf by fear and rage. Father, forgive what I have done, wherever you are. Continue my story from here next time. <laughs>